I was born in France, uh, moved to Australia when I was two years old. My parents, you know, they, they were both born in France. Um, they came here on their honeymoon after their, after their marriage, you know, I think, yeah, 30 years ago, and they, they loved Australia. They went travelling around there for a few months and loved it. And it was always a dream of my dad to come live in Australia. So, you know, in, in 2001, they just said, look, you know, we'll go for it. Earliest football memory is probably just, you know, playing with my dad in the park. Um, my dad's always loved football, he never played professionally or anything, but always loved it, loved supporting the French national team and, and you know, those, those historic clubs like Ajax and all that. So um, I think, yeah, the, the earliest memory, I think, is just, you know, forcing my dad, you know, it might be pouring down rain, but I'm forcing him to come have a kick with me in the park. They're, they're well known for the way they play football in the Netherlands, developing young players as well, and they're not scared to play, you know, young players that, that have talent. So. I think that you know having that year over there for me was awesome. I got to play a lot of games against some top top opponents as well, and yeah, I learned a lot just training in that in that environment every day. Having the pressure of you know being a new club and the pressure of winning week in week out does change people, and he'll he'll learn a lot from from this experience currently because he's he's definitely got the potential. The club has, has very clear expectations. We want to do well. We don't want to just be you know a competitive side. We want to be one of the better sides. So. Um, I think Antej brought us in early during the preseason to get, obviously as a start-up club, you know, you bring in players from all around, the, all around the place and, you know, you're putting a team together from scratch and I think Ante's done a great job. He's brought in a certain type of footballer, but also like a certain type of person that he believes is good for the club and will bring success to the club. It's every, every young player's dream to, to represent your country, so I think with the things coming up, it's, it's extra motivation and to do well at my club, do well for myself and then hopefully move on to better things. He's, he's a very mature kid for his age and uh, as I said, hopefully he, he has a good season here at MacArthur. Then if that leads to, to the Olympics or Socceroos, um, you know, there, there are other people that will make those decisions. But I think he needs to just first and foremost focus on his club football and, and see where that takes him. Obviously the Olympics is, is massive. Um, for any player to, to represent Australia is an honour, but to go to the Olympics as well, there's not many footballers that can say that they went to the Olympics and, and represented you know, their country. So I think that, you know, that's always in the back of your mind. Every day you go to training and, and you want to do well for yourself, you want to do well for your club, but at the back of your mind, you know, you have that motivation of the Olympics and, and wanting to do better, get improve every day and, and get yourself on that plane to, to Tokyo.